Now, I just assumed that everyone knows the answer to this question, okay? And over the weekend, last weekend, I was asking some people about it, and I found that actually no one knew the answer. So I decided to do a video on it. Um, you might already know this, but I just want to clarify it because it's very important. Why nutrients get depleted when you eat sugar and foods that are like refined carbohydrates, okay? And I'm talking about also um, juice and sodas and like liquid sugar. So very simply, in your energy factory called the mitochondria, there is an engine that involves fuel and oxygen, okay? And in order to burn glucose, which is a carbohydrate, there are very important and essential cofactors or helper nutrients or coenzymes, which are slightly different. Now, you could look at both of these as the keys that start the car or the engine. B1, especially B1, zinc, especially potassium, magnesium, chromium, manganese, calcium, other B vitamins like B3, B6, B5, are essential and necessary in the burning of glucose. So this process in your mitochondria, which is the energy factory, cannot work without these. So if you're consuming pure glucose without these, your body is gonna to have to get it from somewhere. So it's gonna pull it from your reserves and it's gonna start depleting you of these nutrients specifically. And this is why when you consume glucose without nutrients, you start having issues. Like for example, uh, if you consume a lot of glucose, you start becoming deficient in B1 and you get nervous, your heart races, you can't sleep. I mean, there's a lot of other symptoms like brain fog and fatigue. Uh, zinc, you might start noticing little white spots in your nails. Your immune system is weak. Your testosterone goes down. When you're missing potassium, your heart rate starts going higher and higher and higher because potassium is the brakes to the accelerator on the, um, the heartbeats. So there's a lot of things that can happen when you consume straight sugar. Now, if you were gonna do cane sugar or molasses, which has all the nutrients, you're not gonna deplete these. Now, you're gonna have other problems because of the glucose, but if you're consuming sugar with nutrients, obviously it's not gonna have that effect, but so many people consume refined carbohydrates. White rice, for example, you're really gonna deplete B1. Refined grains turn into glucose and you're gonna deplete these. Now, whole grains are a little different. Whole grains do have some of the B vitamins, they have the minerals, they have zinc, but the problem is they also have, in the bran part, phytic acid, which blocks the minerals. So you're gonna create a deficiency through that way. Now, one thing about vitamin C is that vitamin C is very similar to glucose in its chemistry. And if there's glucose going into the cell, okay, at the same time vitamin C is there, your body will uptake glucose and not vitamin C. That's why uh, you start becoming deficient in vitamin C because the glucose can override this mechanism. So you start seeing your gums start bleeding when you're brushing your teeth, you start getting tired. That's like a mild subclinical version of, of scurvy. So this is why, if you're new to my channel, you need to get on the Healthy Keto and Intermittent Fasting Plan. I put a link down below. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.